What is going on everyone, Bitter Hyena here, and by some miracle, and I still don't know exactly how this happened, we are going to be opening up some early Temporal Forces. To be completely honest, I think this is the earliest I've ever got my hands on some pre-release kits. The card shop that I normally go to just now started doing pre-releases again, so when I seen online that they were going to be having their first pre-release event last weekend, I didn't think I was actually going to get my hands on these, but when I got off work, I decided to make a trip out there just to see, just to see if I could get lucky, and it paid off. So I was able to pick up two boxes and since i got the two boxes i got six participation packs as well so we've got a pretty decent chance of getting something today oh and they actually gave me these as well i don't know if these are official pokemon top loaders but either way they look awesome you got the gold pokemon card game down there at the bottom and it's got the like cracked ice hollow to them Oh, they're so cool. But apparently they're given away with each box, so since I got two pre-release kits, I got two of them. But anyway, let's go ahead and get into these. We will do the prize packs last, so we will open up the build and battle boxes first, and hopefully get some early set magic. We have some pretty cool art for the front of the box. I really like it. But let's go ahead and see what we've got inside and see what our pre-release promo is. I actually don't remember what any of the promos actually are. So we got our four packs of Temporal Forces here. And let's see. Ooh, we got Maridon. That is actually pretty cool. I like that one. Since we're not playing, there's no real reason to open this thing up. All right, here we go. Let's see what we can get from our first pre-release pack. First pack for Temporal Forces. Now, this set officially releases the 22nd, I believe, of this month. So we've still got a couple weeks before it comes out. But the next couple weekends is the usual pre-release event. So if you like to get your hands on some early packs, go to your local card shop. See if they got a pre-release going. We got a Latias there. Very cool looking artwork. We got a Pineco Reverse. A Rosa Raid Reverse. And on the end... <laughs> first pack for the set. And there is our first hit. Morty's Conviction. I am a little sad it's not the sar but it is still a full art trainer and that card looks awesome i actually don't think i've seen the normal version of this that is so cool what a nice first hit all right now this is a build and battle kit i would have been happy with starting off man what a good first hit i'm very happy with that there's your code for that one now you can't use these codes until the actual start of or the official release of the set so if you're watching this video, go ahead and still take them. You've got, you got a, you got a really good chance for when the set releases to get these codes put in. There you go, because everybody's got to wait. We got a reverse Elizapede, a reverse Mall while and on the end, <laughs> back to back hits. Look at that. We got Rug Trio EX, the like white background full art card. That is so cool. All right, some very very good first first opening oh oh my goodness i'm kind of at a loss for words with this because this is the best like build and battle box i think i've ever gotten i've not gotten hits like that back to back that's a little nuts all right let's see what we can do here next one we've got arbok which i do like at artwork we have c dot a little toe dial we've got deerling the booster thing that's been in about every set it seems like We've got Lycanroc, a reverse Turt Twig, a reverse Keldeo, and on the end, we've got our first normal hollow, Macargo Fast. All right, final pack for the first box, and this first box has been just, ooh, awesome. Could not have been happier with this. There you go, code, energy, grass energy off. Let's see what we can get in our last one. We got a Grubbin, Frost Moth, we've got Noctowl, a Croganol, a Shaman, what is the name of this thing's cypher maniacs code breaking my goodness that is a long name we got vika volt a reversed rock rough a reverse weird looking pokemon that i still don't know how i feel and we've got the normal hollow maridon all right time for the next pre-release kit okay now let's see what we can get for our promo in this one hopefully it's not the same as the first one that's i'm just i'm just hoping they're both different that's all so we got our four packs here we'll keep them down here and separated and what do we got for our promo it is ooh matang okay we got a middle evolution there there we go i thought that was metagross for a second but there we go we got matang as our next promo again no reason to open those now let's see what we can do from the second box see if it's going to be as good as our first one 
see if we can get lucky enough to pull a secret rare or SAR card in our first opening. That would be awesome to get even before the set comes out, man. Ooh. All right, so we've got Drillber, a Reller. Is that how you say that, Reller? We got Ponyta, a Chatot. What is this, Perilous Jungle. We got Unpheasant, an Eerie, which we have pulled the normal full art of her in the Japanese set. We got a Metatite, Arbok Reverse, and on the end, we've got our first EX, Torterra. There we go, not a bad one. Another good hit. Absolutely terrific luck with these packs here, man. Ooh. I'm loving it. And then we've still got our six packs, our six participation packs, I guess you could say, for getting these two boxes. And they're from a booster box, so we could have some really good hits in those. We got Charger Bug, a Slugma Nuts. We got Solosis, a little Skitty. We've got Sableye, a Great Tusk with some cool looking artwork there. That is Mitsuhiro Arita. I recognize that artwork from a mile away. We've got Morty's Conviction, the normal one. Got a Bramblin, a Electabuzz Reverse, and on the end, we've got another Macargo Fast. How are we doubling up on Hollows already? Okay, two packs left for the second Build and Battle Box. Let's see if we get something else out of here. There is your code for that one. We've not seen any of the Illustrator Rares yet, so getting one of those would be good. Let's see, Cottony, a Carvana, we've got Ekans wrapped around a tree, we've got Turtwig, a very cool looking Senta Scorch, man. Buddy Buddy Poffin, okay. We've got Iron Treads, a Delosion as our reverse. And look at me calling that. There we go. We've got Cutie Fly as our first Illustrator Rare. This one is very... I like the art on this one a lot. Like, you can just see the little Cutie Fly. It's the only thing that is, like, not blurred out that is completely in vision there and then you got all the other pokemon around it that are like kind of just in the distance kind of blurred out that's very cool i like it nice perspective there and we've got a roaring moon as our next hollow final build and battle pack let's see what we can end this second box with and then we are on to our prize packs i am excited for these prize packs because normally that's when i usually do my best with an early set is the prize packs because like i said they're from a booster box but I gotta say, these building battle boxes have been very, very good this time around. We've got a Reuniclus, a Roselia Reverse, and Iron Tread Reverse. I like that one. And finally, on the end, we've got a Hollow for Alligator. As good as the building battle boxes were, let's see what we can do from these six prize packs. All right. Now, like I said, fingers crossed we can do some good work here. I really like all of the SAR cards in the set especially the uh, past Pokemon. They all look awesome. Even the future ones don't look too bad, but I am going for all those different past Pokemon. They look awesome. Would love to get all three of them. We got a Pineco Reverse, a Delmise Reverse, and we got Bramblegast on the end. Weirdly, doubling up on Hollows with only being, what, 10 packs into this, this set now? There you go. Code, Water Energy, all right, here we go. Next pack, what do we got? Starting off, we got a Slugma Nuts. We got Solosis, awesome looking Scyther artwork. We got Skitty, another Buddy Buddy Poffin, another Lycanroc. We got Delcaddy, Tranquil as our first reverse, a Mr. Mime as our second, and on the end, a Melmetal. It's got some cool looking artwork to it. Not normally a big fan of Melmetal, but that card looks pretty good, gotta say. All right, here we go, pack three for the prize packs let's see what we can get all right starting off we've got a meta tight a turtinator we got a little hoot hoot beldum we've got another great tusk another morty's conviction shiftry we got a reverse solizipede a reverse saws buck and our next ex skullvillian 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 that's it Whatever it is, we got the Pepper EX, there we go. Not a bad hit, another good one, sweet. Both of the EX cards that we have pulled have been grass though, so that's all right. I am still looking for the Gengar EX. The Gengar, of course, is in this set. We've got the Full Art Gengar as well. And we have pulled a lot of grass energies from these packs. I am noticing as I'm throwing them off. We got another Bramblin, a Draferig, Roselia. Future boost energy capsule. We got iron hands, 
heavy baton. We've got a reverse uh, colossal, a reverse bronze ore, and on the end, we have got flutter main. Okay, two packs left to go. Two more chances to get our first textured thing out of these packs, these prize packs, whatever they are. There you go, metal energy. I'm all messing up now. All right, here we go. We've got a very weird looking Wiglet card. We've got Arbok, a C dot. Toadile, we've got a Keldeo, an Iron Jugulus, which is just such a weird name for that card. We've got a Nuzleaf Reverse, a Golok Reverse, and another Hollow Maridon. Man, like I said, doubling up on Hollow so quickly. Here we go, our final pack for the first early opening of Temporal Forces. Let's see what we can do here. We've already done so well, and I'm happy with what we've gotten. Let's see if we can manage one more good thing from these prize packs. We've got a Rock Ruff, a awesome looking Litten card. I don't remember that one, that's so cool. We've got a Shamrock, a big old fat Lickitung. we got another Latias, Ancient Boost Energy Capsule, Iron Treads, we got a Reverse Giraffe Rig. Our next reverse is a Matang, and let's see, finally on the end, we've got something. Dope, we are ending it with Drample Grandpa. These are honestly the best pre-release kits I think I've ever opened. We got two EXs, Torterra and Scovillian, both of them oddly grass Pokemon, but you know, that's fine. Our first Illustrator Rare is Cutie Fly, and our two big hits for the box, Morty's Conviction Full Art in the first pack, and then the second one we got Wugtrio EX. What a nice couple of hits for this set. And like I said, this is early opening. This is just pre-release weekend. I am very happy with my luck with this set so far. If you managed to go out this weekend for pre-releases, let me know in the comments below if you pulled anything good. I might go back out and see if I can get just one more box for some like shorts or things like that. I don't know yet. This might be the last time we open this up until the official release. We will see. To be completely honest, I've just got so much stuff backed up that I need to get out. So we probably won't even have time to open this up until the set officially releases. But alrighty guys, if you enjoyed this video, hit that like button. If you're new, subscribe subscribe and check out another video while you're at it don't forget to hit the little bell button get notifications when more videos go up and as always guys thank you so much for the love and support it is greatly appreciated and i will talk to you all later see ya